What was um, what was the most rewarding thing for you about running a newspaper? I think it's working for yourself. <laughs> Very true. It's uh, years later. We were in San Diego, and I was I was working for a commercial printing company. My wife was working for a country club. Just said one day, why don't we buy a shop of our own? I said, why don't we buy a shop of our own? So we bought a little commercial party place. It was going defunct. And actually, we got into the more modern stuff in that because we bought a, one of the first typesetting machines. Oh, really? Electronic. It's so much different because it was a big, like a flat, big desk with a keyboard on it. But we could set so many different types and it photographed it. It didn't come out already printed and everything because we had to run it through on, and it got through on, on negatives and then we had to develop that negative oh, okay. and paste them up. So we, I suppose the biggest the reward was Working for yourself. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. Um, you know, getting out into the community is is a lot of fun. I don't, I'm sure you enjoyed that as well. Just getting to know, you know, all all aspects of it and getting to know people. And I I like it when people come to me with story ideas. Oh yeah. Things they want to see in the paper and making that happen for them. Yeah. Well, ours, of course, being in a small town is unlike. It anything you'd probably find here. Mm -hmm. The people come in, they come in for coffee and, mm -hmm. and talk. I'm, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna just jump in, I remember Wednesday night was the night they put the paper to bed and after they had all the galleys printed out, they go to the, co the cafe next oh. door and local business people who had stores in the town would come and they'd have dinner together and they'd all proofread the paper. Oh, that's neat. So it was, a, it was like a social event then, and then mom and dad would go back and, uh, oh, that's and, neat. and, and then do some more hard work. But that yeah. was that kind of that little social yeah. event in the middle there. And community newspapers are very much a community newspaper in the sense that people do get to have a hand in it, you know, whether it's oh, people yeah. pitching story ideas or advertising a, a family run business or, you know, some people even write articles and yeah, editorials. Well, they, they feel like it's theirs. Absolutely, absolutely. So, but it sounds like that over 60 years, spanning over 60 years with all the changes and how you do a newspaper and all the changes, you did yours in a small town and you're doing yours in an urban area, mm -hmm. that the uh, bottom line is is that you probably both like the newspaper business, but you also are both independent business people that like yeah. working for yourselves. True. And community yeah. newspapers, I mean, you can, you can have a community newspaper in the biggest city, and it's still, you know, community newspaper, I think, really makes a large city still feel like a small town and have that aspect to it. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. So...